first off, one thing I remember reading, like in the interview before Owen, they asked you about influences, and you see, and I think you something like the effect that back in the day, it was just you and Jazz's whole um, mind frame was to crush everyone, just like you know, on some battle type, you know. So like, was there any MCs at all that like that were like, who was dope to you in the beginning before you really got, you know, got on? Who were some uh, of the MCs I that you? I grew up like around Kane and Rakim, Tom. Kane and Rakim. Yeah, and Cool G Rap, though. Cool G Rap, no doubt. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I read um, one of the projects. Your, was your first thing on Wax that the high potent MCs thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HP gets busy. Yeah. So who who were the two LIMCs? Like MCs that ever went anywhere? Or they just like. Yeah, they were. I think they were they, two brothers. Um, everyone, Jason. All right. Now they don't even pursue music anymore. Right? Okay. Like you know what I mean. And what year was that? You know about? That might have been like. Yeah. Cause God, it, that was like 87, something yeah, like that? Yeah, it might have been like 87. All right. And um, one thing it says, like, you were down back in the day was, like, you know, it was known for, like, your battling days. Um, You want to give any particular names? <laughs> <laughs> no names? Nah. All right. I was trying to get sneak some out of you there. Um, One thing I just meant, um, I noticed for a while, I it was mostly through jazz, and I guess cannabis kind of tied you into it recently. I, I guess this is... um. His, his connection to it was the LL thing. Yeah. What, what, what was that? Why do you, I mean... That was one of those battles. That was like, one of the battles? Yeah. Did it was one ever, like, actually a personal, in-person in battle? Yeah, it was me and him. We was both on the street. Oh, where? I, I, I had it on tape, too. That was the ill thing. Oh. And I lost it. Like, I had a videotape of the whole thing. It was it was terrible. What? Yeah. So wh where did all that stem from? I knew it was a thing with the, you know, the, the Jack the Ripper track and the... The pants and the tripling style with jazz. So you know, where did all that stem from, actually? I guess then you know, that's where it all stem from. Then, like when we seen them, it was like my man Source Money. Uh huh. Was just called out, like you don't want an L. <laughs> uh, you know, of course he called back, like whatever. You know what I mean? Right. And it was just like we went down there and we just got it on. Yeah. Right, right. So I guess we know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, another him. Some of them sees um that like I, like I mentioned like. Was the big thing I guess back then when y'all was coming up was people everyone was trying to claim the triplet style, right? And who, who was the, who was the the main one? Right. Um, one MC I, I I'm not sure. It sounded like he was like coming at jazz on a, on a track, and uh, maybe you was a kid named Bryce Love. You familiar with him? Bryce Love, I know her. Uh, he was down on um, Brent Mantronics, MC second, the second MC for Mantronics. Nah, no. Right? Isn't Bryce? Ain't Bryce um? He's a gro groove groove theory now. Yeah, he's a groove theory kid now. But he, Bryce used to be rapping. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, he's um he was the he was the second MC for Mantronics. Oh yeah. Yeah, he he has some he has some shit. He had like this thing, but he like he had a group called QBC, the uh -huh. Queens Brooklyn Connection. Uh huh. As a song that like talks about like him being you know one of the fathers of the Triplin style. Oh yeah. And it was like you know something he said something with jazz, but I can't he says it so fast I can't tell what he says. Uh huh. So I guess that's nothing I never knew about. Nah, never. Alright, how about how about Fresco? Yeah, I know where I heard Fresh go for. Alright, so was there like anything between y'all, like battle between y'all before? Nah. Alright, cool. Um, what was, what was Joss Productions? Was, was how you pronounce that? Josh? It was, I guess it was on the... Josh, that was, uh, Jazz Management back then, at the time. Okay, because I was the Jay-Z appearance, you know, yeah, courtesy I was of that. Yeah, I work with them too, but I never worked out. Okay, cool. Um, I know one thing too is important is, is lyrics and the content of your lyrics. You want to, you know, paint pictures. And also sometimes you put things that aren't easily found. Is there any particular songs you recorded in the last, I guess, mainly the two albums that you put there that you don't think no one has caught on to or picked up yet that you want to bring out? That yeah, a bunch of them. Let me just yeah, I know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Something like... Cause I find things all the time that people, like, don't notice. And I'm like, yeah, try to point them out to people. So yeah. I wonder maybe I missed something that you, they're like, man, no one's getting this. And I wrote all this, took all this time, hard work, and no one's getting it. You yeah, know, but I... You know, that's, that's the good thing about people that really listen, like really listen. Uh -huh. Like sometimes, like, you know, the thing I think people are not going to get, they come up to me like, yo, now what's hot when you said da 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 I love that. You know what I mean? Right. That, that, that's really, that's why I put it there. Like, it ain't for everybody. Right. You know what I mean? It ain't for everybody to just, just, just know. It's for people that really listen. You know what I mean? Like, the people that really listen, I feel that they should get something extra. No doubt. You know what I mean? No doubt. I feel you. I'm just trying to think of something that I don't think anybody. Alright. Well, keep on thinking. If it pops in mind, just like you spit it out. Um, some of the songs that like really like you know, on a lyrical level, like really like hit me on an emotional level. Um, uh, was like um, 
Evil. The Evils is a real, 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 real big song. Okay, they got one from the Evils. Yeah. I got one from the Evils. Yeah, they speak on that. Anybody got? What's that? I, I, got, I got one from the Evils down thing anybody got. What's that? Um, When I was talking about the, the, the girl. That's on the, the second verse, so that's my question about to explain the second verse a little deeper. I got little bits, but it's like confusing a little bit. Yeah, like, how, I don't even, how does it start? I know I said I kept feeding her dollars until her shit started to make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you eat something, like, in a literal form, like, if you eat something, your body breaks it down and discards what it doesn't need. So if you eat a dollar, you know, your shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, that's kind of, yeah, I never thought of it like that. Okay. Yeah, but, but then I said, and at the same time, I kept feeding the dollar to the shit she was saying started to make sense. Right. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like a, a double thing, right? Right, right. No, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like, like the second verse, like it's like it see if it makes like oh, it's real clear to you. Building, oh yeah, we used to fight. I think people got that one. Yeah, fight, fight for buildings. For building blocks. Now we fight for blocks of buildings that make a killing. Yeah, that verse is just the whole verse is. Yeah. Real part of the money grew and soon grew black hearted. Thinking back when we first learned to use rubbers, that was hot too. Like when we first learned to use rubbers, he never learned. Yep, like, someone turned. He, learn, he wouldn't have a care for me to kidnap. You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> And I guess like well, I guess all of it like was like clear to me, but the last line I never quite understood what you meant. What was the last line? Um, I take away your misery and make it mine. Okay, they say if you could like if you was to kill someone, yeah, like all of their miseries and all of their things, it comes on to you. That's what I thought. That's why. That's why. That's what I thought you meant. Yeah. Because yeah. you said don't cry, just to be yeah, in due time. Right. Okay. That's kind of what I figured. But I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something in between the lines there. Um, on the new album. The new album, um, You Must Love Me. That's like a real, like, just deep yeah. song. I know it's got back a real personal song to you. Anything right. particularly you want to speak about that? I mean, it's just like, it's just the thing that you go through. Like, when you're young, you do things that, you know, you look back on now, like, damn, I can't believe I did that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's like a real true story. Like, I had to get permission from my family members to do that song. Like, it had to, it was a meet. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what happened? You got yeah, cut off? I, nah, I hit the voicemail by mistake. Oh, okay, cool. You said my father had a meeting with the family to do what now? Yeah, but in order to do that song, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I had to get together and speak to the people, you know what I mean? Right, you know, actually, I feel bad. Cause actually, I slept on that song for a long time. This couldn't come to the title. I thought it was like maybe so like a love song, a girl song. So I didn't really even get to it. Yeah. I just heard it like three days ago. <laughs> hey, word. <laughs> So I was like, oh, yeah, no. There's a lot of people that didn't hear that one. Maybe yeah. after the movie, they'll, they'll pick it up. No, I'm definitely, that's going to be, that's how I'm in the show while I do the show. And that's going to be the last song I'll play for, for the night. I'm going to close on that for definitely. Yeah. Um, City is mine. I guess that's, that's I, I'll always view that as like your, your, like kind of your dedication to, um, to Big. Right. Do you want to speak on, oh, the, 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 the you know, what you I want to do a song, like, about Big. You know what I mean? I really want to do it, but I didn't want to do a whole song because I didn't want to make, I didn't want to be took in the wrong way. Right. You know what I mean? So I just really wanted to, you know, touch on it in that verse right there. Okay, yeah, that's how it kicks off right there. Right. And with, with, y'all, with y'all group project y'all had to commission, did y'all ever record anything or just like nah. it, was, it was just a, a plan? It was just it was just like in the beginning stages. Like he, he, he actually gave me that name, Iceberg Slim. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. And it was just like we just was like getting names and then we just had a name, Charlie Baltimore. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. We had plans for it to be Charlie, you know, Tiffany. You know what I mean? Right. But I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I got met Tiffany through him, but I didn't know that she was Charlie Baltimore. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, definitely. So such in the beginning stages, we just talked about like, man, we do something together. It's going to be, yeah. So after doing Brooklyn's Finest and I Love the Dough, we just like, you know what I mean? Chemistry is getting better and better. Okay. So y'all went to high school together, right? Yeah. That's we what y'all just like did. That cool in high school. Right. Like, you know, like, what's up, what's up? Okay. But then we just, like, after Brooklyn Finals, we just really start kicking it. Okay, that's cool. Um, I, I seen your name, like, you are, you're part of that, uh, the Master P soundtrack, too? Yeah. Got the, what do you do on that? I did a song on that. It's yeah. like a solo song? You know, it's me, Bleak. It's about, like, oh, I got on the label, Memphis Bleak. Yeah, he's done. Source Money. What's the song called? Uh, um... I see the soundtrack with the game, maybe. With the game, okay. Because the soundtrack does have like the, it's, a, it's a song titles, but none, none of the artists on, on the actual cover of the soundtrack. Right. So I always see, now I see, see Jay Z somewhere on there, but I don't know where yet. Okay. Right. Might as well check it out then. Um, what was the problem with Priority? You know, you know, I know you went from Payday to Priority, now Def Jam. Right. Priority was like our lawyers had made a big mistake. Like, 
like where we'd be playing for Freeze. If you look on the um, first album, we had Rockefeller Freeze priority, right? And after it was like, because the guy from Freeze, he actually introduced, uh, introduced us to uh, priority. Right. So when it came time after the year was up, after Reason Without had dropped and it was time to rego- renegotiate, I was like, well, we don't need Freeze anymore. We already met you. Why would we be paying them any money? You right. know what I mean? Like how you going? I'll pay you a fee because you definitely hit hooked the deal up, but I ain't gonna pay you my right. whole life. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then they was like trying to push it, like really push it, like for us to go through freeze. And I was like, why? And then we started looking into our papers, and our lawyer had made a mistake. Like we would have to pay for freeze building. Like if freeze lose a million dollars and Rockefeller make eight, you know what I mean? Or whatever we make, right, right. We would have to pay for his. Like even groups that we don't know nothing about have Ooh. anything to do with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was like, wow, either work with this or get up. And it was kind of personal because we could have signed back to priority. After we discovered it, it was like, it's business. What are you getting on mad for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it was like personal. I really, I kind of wish we would have stuck over. Um, I know you made a statement before about, you know, the first album being your last album. And then, you know, is what's the what's your plan? Now, do you still want to make albums? Yeah. Okay. It was just like, it was like, when that first album, I was just like, I, all I really wanted to do was let people hear me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that was it was, that was the real plan of the first album. Like, I just wanted people to hear me. Then I wanted to take him up there. I wasn't, I didn't want to rap as, for it to be a business. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I wanted just to, to, for, for people to understand that, you know what I mean? I had something. If you like it, cool. You know, just, just to hear me. Because, like... I was thinking like, damn man, I'm a lot better than a lot of people, you know. That's right. And then you know, when you don't have a deal or you don't have records out, people they don't believe that. They are like, yeah, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? It's something about that wax to make them believe. True. And, okay. And I just really wanted people to hear me, and I wanted to move on. And right. And that, you know, that was how I felt at the time. But then I had to do that. You know, after I moved from Priority, the only thing I had, or we had Rockefeller, right. was Jay Z. So I had to sign like a two album deal. Okay, so again. Two albums. After this second, you know, volume, mm-hmm. we'll see about what you're going to do next. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's real ill, of, you know, as far as your artists, that you bridge, you know, find a way to bridge the gap between an excellent lyricist and also someone who can make, you know, I guess a commercial record that people can, you know, actually enjoy right. on different levels. So, right. do, but do you feel you get your respect as a lyricist from other lyricists? Definitely. I, I feel they definitely. Definitely from them, you know. Right. Like, like I, I, I know that they know. Like I say, I'm a rapper's rapper. You right. Know? Like all rap, every every person that rap gotta respect what I say. Okay. Cause it's thought provoking, and you know, it's just it's just like they have to respect that. Well, actually, cause my, I guess you know, I've, I've been I've been listening to you since I mean since you first were just talking on jazz records. Right. So I've been waiting for a long time for you to you know get to this level. Uh, so you know, you know, it's definitely a long time coming. Right. Now we were just thinking, like, like my my crew was just sitting around talking, like, we were trying to figure out for this show, like, as Jay Z, who's really a, a a comparable MC all around to what you do, mm-hmm. and really it means like only one person came to mind that I can put in that same level, like in a Jay Z level, mm-hmm. like someone that has like the, the delivery, the lyrics, and I, that's my next question is um. Would you ever be interested in doing like underground project with this on a, on a lyrical level with different MCs? Yeah, definitely. Like I, I think I think like this project would be like you and Pharrell March from Organize. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, definitely. Is it actually the, the line that you mentioned? I think in um. Yeah. That's oh, it was Bring It On, right? Yeah, Bring It On. Right. You mentioned that you that was actually about him, right? Yeah. So I always thought that'd be the illest yeah, song. Yeah, you got that one too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta catch that. It's like, yeah, gotta be the ultimate team of the, the, the perfect deliveries. Yeah, the, like I just did a song with MOP. Like, sometimes I just do a song, mm-hmm. get, you know what I mean? Because I want to do it. Right. Like, I feel like that's something I want to do, like a joint with MOP. So, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna keep doing that. Like, once in a while, just look for me or something. Like, people will be like, huh? Right. You know what I mean? Like, the people that don't really know, like you. Of course, you know what I mean? Right. It seems like you would just be like, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. But the average person would be like, huh? Right, I'd like to see you and Fair, and also you and G-Rap would be nice to do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I just hope that G-Rap about something. Oh, work? Yeah. Okay, so that's something that possibly in the works there. Yeah. All right, um, with the with the new, um, the movie and everything, what, what was the, you know, what made you do that, go that step with the movie and the, the soundtrack? Well, why about that come about? It, it was like, like with this album, the last album, mm-hmm. it was like a lot of things that, like a lot of street people understood, mm-hmm. but not everybody understood. Like Lucky Me, 
you look at that song like that and be like, you know, that's music soft and it's very commercial. Like, this is what I heard said, like, you know, in interviews and things, you know, I've yeah. read articles. And I'm like, wow, you don't really understand that song? Right. You know what I mean? So, like, I was like, damn, they must don't understand anything. Like, they can't understand You Must Love Me. You understand? Right. So I had to really bring that out visually, and I couldn't do it through the video outlets because they're so sensitive about what they play, the censorship, and, right. you know, they got to do a job. They got people to report to, and they can't do it like that. So I figured I'd do it myself. Okay. So, yeah, and this is kind of a natural progression because you're, you're known as a cinematic rapper. You know, yeah. you, you paint the picture as a movie already, so to actually do it was only like the next possible level to go to, go to anyway. Right. Um, actually, you mentioned that about, about the beats before, and I guess it probably throws off a lot of people that, you know, there's some tracks that you do that people, you know, anyone, like the, even the, the most underground hip-hop person can get into, uh -huh. but then there's other ones that they don't. Um, is there any way you, what do you, what do you feel about that, you know, about, about as far as the, the, the music you use for your albums, the tracks? It's like, I'm really just trying to bring, like, Within the context of staying true to myself, I'm really just trying to bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. Not like together as the saying we are the world or nothing like that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but everybody together listening to one track and maybe, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. get 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 together and just, you know, learn each other. Like, what right. what makes this person do what he does? That's all I really want. I want I want people in in mainstream America. To really understand, like people in the ghetto don't hustle because they want to hustle, you know. Right. They don't do the things they do because they want it. They want it. They feel they the need in these situations. Right. You understand? And if they, and if I could like bring that and let them understand that through music, and that's a beautiful thing. Yo. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess the I guess the one thing that you know that I mean I can feel it from both levels, but the one thing I think that would like make it easier for like even like. Everyone else, like, you know, the, the, uh, the balance. Got on your singles. You, do you ever put acapellas? Acapellas? Nah. Well, any particular reason why? I don't know. I never did that, though. For real? I really should. I mean, that's the, that's the, that, that would be like, the, be like the, 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 the one tool I think that would really make the difference. Yeah, I'm going to thank you on the back of the album because I'm going to put the... Because uh, I was going to put the lyrics in this album. Yeah. I ain't going to do that because it kind of ruins it for the people like yourself. Right, and yeah. The people who really listen to it because it kind of gives it, it, gives it up. Yeah, you know? I won't read them until I find them. I won't read them until I listen, though. Until yeah. I, I, I will double check, you know? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was going to really quit the lyrics, and I, I'm going to make an acapella, and I'm going to thank you on the back of the for that one. Oh, thanks, yeah, because I, I, I like, like, it's like certain songs, like, like The City Is Mine. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a lyric, so it's so ill, but I mean, musically, it's not my, my particular right. flavor. Uh -huh. But that was acapella. We could be re I could remix that. Right. I could have my producers make that, a, you know, an underground track. You know, that any, anyone could just like, bam run with it and do something with it. Right. So, I mean, that I mean, that would make a, a difference, I think, so. Right. Um, how about, um, what's up with Sauce Money? What's, you got some stuff coming up? Yeah, he's working on his album right now. Is he just right through Rockefeller? Yeah, no, it's Rockefeller Geffen. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that kid's, that kid's crazy nice. Yeah. Um, how about Jazz? You know I mean? Like, at, at, at later days, I got the first with me and Jazz, like, me, him, and Jazz used to be in this little room all the time, just rapping together. Okay. Like a little hot room, like a little room, like, like little small room just in there with the little equipment mm -hmm. playing beats and just rapping yeah so he definitely he was around for a minute too it just he didn't have anything else yeah except for he was on that, that hit joint original flavor right he was on oh yeah hit, yep. hit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's when I first heard the sauce I'm, I'm gonna play that on the show too probably mm -hmm. let him know that he's been around for a long time yeah. from the from the hit to the show improve until you know right okay um, anything else you got planned? Any other projects? What's the next level? Well, I'm working on volume two now. Okay. I'm working with a bunch of new producers, like only producers. I got a name, I have this premiere, mm -hmm. and he's doing four. All right. Uh, Jermaine did one, and Timberland did two. Okay. Me and Jazz did Originators part two. Oh, word. Fast joint. That's got to be it. Uh, okay. Oh, yo, it's done. It's, 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 it's crazy, yo. He okay. Just took it back one time, real quick. I gotta feel that. That Timberland track. Like, could you put that, put all that together, like in your mind? Like, if I put it together, it's it's crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely something I'm I'm, I'm waiting to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I I'm a bug duck. I'm in an interview. I'm not sure how you how you meant it, but you, you mentioned the spending Rockefeller, the, the the different forms of music, even like signing, you know, rock and roll group, whatever. You know what? You know that's something you really want to do. Yeah, I just I just really want. I believe in like it's too good types of music like good and bad I really believe that you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. if it's done right people are gonna listen to it like if if people 
it was exposed to seal or you know what I mean? If they hear it and they're exposed to it, they gonna if it's good they're gonna like it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Um, anything particular about you that we might not have mentioned that you want people to know about Jay Z as as a as an artist, as a lyricist that we should bring out? It's or a person, anything about you in particular? It's just like I, I like I don't like I don't want like, you know, maybe sometimes in the videos or whatever I give like a untouchable persona but I'm just cool people, you know what I'm saying? Like a regular dude from the from I'm Sean Carter from five C you know what I mean? Right, right. I just want people to look at it and think of me like that. So oh, that okay, definitely. That's a smooth. Yeah, that's how I always tell people because it's actually my third time interviewing you. Because uh-huh. I, I remember back, I think all you had out before was um, in my lifetime, mm-hmm. and I did a show on on jazz, mm-hmm. his career, and yeah, you called uh, called in the full interview with me on, on the show. Mm-hmm. So this is actually the, so we I did the the jazz with Jay Z. Now this is the Jay Z with jazz show. All right. So we're going to flip it like, you know, because, you know, it's just the, the, the evolution, the circle is still going. That's right. And, and Jazz is going to come back out with his stuff, and he's going to hit people, you know, again. So, That's right. So definitely want to keep, you know, y'all names out there because y'all been in it for Don't a long time. That people that really know Jazz and really know how, how ill Jazz is, they look out for that originators too with me and him. No doubt. Yeah, because I know, man, I, I, I trace a lot of styles I heard, like, later back to Jazz. Yeah. Like, even, like, I was listening back to, like, from the, the DOS FX stuff. Definitely. Diggity doped up, all that. All the diggity I heard first from jazz. All that. So, you know, the originators live on forever, you know what I'm saying? All right, man. No doubt. So I'm going to do that show and I'll get your co- I'm gonna copy to, of the side of the show turned out to the, to the label. All right, man. Look for that. Look for that. Thank you, man. No doubt, man. Good looking out. All right, man. All right, man. Peace.